everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to root your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch on the latest build FI27 ice cream sandwich. First of all, you're going to want to double check and make sure you are on that build. So go ahead and press menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone and under about phone uh, under build number right here. You will see at the bottom, it does let you know what you're at. The last four digits is what your build number is. So you'll see I am on FI27. So that is how you're going to root this version. This is a, an over-the-air update being pushed to these devices. It should come out soon. Uh, so if you're not on it yet, don't worry. I do have a video showing you how to root on FH13 or FF18. If you're on that build, I can link to that in the description if you'd like that. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get this thing rooted. First of all, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. And once you click on the link, it will take you to this website right here. Go ahead and scroll down. Shout out to uh, Garwin, along with Sex Tape, R. Wilco 12, Rain Motorsports, SF Hub, and anyone else involved in getting this going for us. So uh, you will see FI27, root stock. Go ahead and scroll down. Keep scrolling down, and we are going to need to download a file right here, number two. First of all, make sure you do have the drivers installed on your computer. So for number one, it says install Samsung USB Android drivers. Just click on this link, download it, and install the drivers to your PC. Once you've done that, you're going to need to download another file. You will see download the FI27 one-click. Wow, I did not mean to do that. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, number two, you have a few options. So now we are going to make sure you need to... Uh, download the correct option. So you have uh, a reset user data and a preserve user data, the top two. The first two are rooted, so you'll see in the file name it does say rooted, so make sure you'll know. So the rooted ones are rooted stock, is it's is obviously stock, not rooted. Uh, so select the rooted one and you want it to say preserve user data. So this is going to allow you to root your build and also keep all of your data. So uh, obviously you're not going to do a factory reset. If you do, want to install FI27 um, and you're not on FI27, I do recommend the reset user data option. But otherwise, uh, download this preserve user data, download it from either one of these mirrors. So click on that file, download it. Uh, it'll download to your downloads folder. Once it is done downloading, go ahead and go to your desktop actually. So go ahead and navigate to your desktop, right click and hit new and then create a new folder. So right click, hit new folder and go ahead and call it FI27 root. You don't have to call it that, but uh, that's what I recommend calling it just because you know exactly what it is. So now let's populate this folder. So go to your downloads again, where you have downloaded that, uh, that file, that one click root file that is called right here. Um, I actually downloaded the rooted one that reset data. So my data is going to be reset, but yours should say rooted no data. I just renamed the file name to look like yours. So it should say rooted no data. So it's going to preserve user data. Just double click on it and then go ahead and hit run. Now uh, it's an extracting archive. So go ahead and hit this dot, dot, dot right here. And then go ahead and find the folder that you just created on your desktop. So scroll down and find that FI27 root folder you just made. Select it and hit OK and then just hit extract. Now what it's gonna do is run through and extract all the necessary files into that FI27 folder that we just made. So let it do that, I'll be back. All right, and once that is done, just go ahead and minimize your download screen and go ahead and double click on that folder that we created, that FI27 root folder. Double click on it and you inside you'll see another folder called Odin OC. So double click on that Odin OC folder You'll see this application right here. Double click on it and it will open our Odin one click option. So here it is, E4G FI27 root restore. Yours will say something different um, if you are preserving user data. Mine says root restore because I am uh, resetting my user data. So just kind of keep that in mind. Otherwise though, let's go ahead and get our phone set up. So grab your Epic 4G Touch and what we're gonna need to do is power it on down. We need to power it off because we need to get into something called download or Odin mode. So let this shut off. And once fully powered off, we're gonna to need to get into that download mode. To do so, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Keep them both held down. And then a screen should pop up that's a warning screen. So go ahead and press volume up to continue and select that. Now it's uh, putting you into download mode. Now once you're in download mode, go ahead and grab your micro USB cable that is plugged into your computer and plug it on into your device. Now you should see in our Odin one click, a yellow box pop up that should say COM and then a number. It does not matter what that number is. Just make sure a yellow box pops up and says COM. That lets you know Odin recognizes your device. If you're having any issues with Odin or having any problems with running this, 
The main culprit is usually the cable, so try a different cable. You can try reinstalling drivers. You can try different USB ports. So those are the main troubleshooting steps when using Odin or an Odin one-click. So keep that in mind before you do ask any questions. Make sure you try all those troubleshooting steps. Now, uh, once it uh, does have a yellow box there, just go ahead and hit the Start button. And now what it's going to do is run through and just fully root your device. You will see a green progress bar going in our Odin one click and I believe a blue progress bar on our device itself. It will take a bit of time so you are going need to need to be patient. Make sure you do not unplug uh, the device at all. You'll see this little blue bar start, this progress bar start on the device itself. A green one on Odin. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run through for a little while and I will be back once uh, it gets closer to finishing. Alright, so it's uh, just finishing up. You'll see my screen did shut off. I never have my computer going to sleep mode, but make sure your computer does not go into any type of sleep mode or anything like that. You do not want that to happen. But it is finishing up on modem. If it does get stuck on something or anything like that, try those troubleshooting steps I mentioned earlier in the video. That would be the first thing you will need to do if you have issues. All right, and you'll see it says reset pass. It will automatically reboot your Epic 4G Touch. Uh, pass is letting you know it is done. So you can unplug your device if you'd like to. Uh, once it says pass, you don't need it plugged into your computer anymore. Your phone might go into this recovery, but it might not. I think uh, if you, do if you don't uh, wipe data, use the data reset option, it's not going to do this. So uh, don't be alarmed if it does not go into that screen. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to let it boot up. Again, this did reset my data. Your should not if you selected the option to preserve user data. So just kind of keep that in mind. That's why mine is going to look like it is a factory reset. Um, but otherwise, yours should um, preserve your data. Otherwise, let's go to my phone now once this boots up. All right, so my phone has just booted back up. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than usual to boot up just because my data did get reset. But now what you can do is go ahead and go to your app drawer. And inside your app drawer, you should see an application called Super User right there that should now be there. Uh, you can try any other root application now. You can download root check from the Play Store if you'd like to. Uh, just to double check and make sure you're rooted. If root check says you're not rooted, um, you might want to go ahead and run through this process once again. But that's it. So you are now rooted on FI27 Ice Cream Sandwich. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. I'll be doing videos on how to install Clockwork Mod and other various videos, so be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.